It's been a while since we checked out different layouts of keyboards, so why not review a TKL model today? What we have right here is called the Aqua X Ducky 3087SL. This is a collaboration between two brands, and if you didn't know, they're actually one and the same. These brands are established as the same distributors, with Aqua being Japan, while Ducky is located in Taiwan. In this video, I'm going to provide you with everything you need to know about this keyboard right here. Huge thanks to my friends over at Banggood for providing this keyboard to review. Their website offers a wide variety of products such as this keyboard at an affordable price. Check them out by clicking the link in the video description. Firstly, let's talk about the package contents. Aside from the keyboard, you will receive a USB-C cable that is 1.8 meters in length. The accessories also include a plastic cover protecting your keyboard from dust and particles, and lastly, a wired key puller to freely remove your keycaps. When it comes to the design, the keyboard is available in two finishes being both black and white. Depending which one you choose, your keycaps will be the same color. In this case, I went with the black model since the white one wasn't available. And as previously mentioned, this keyboard is a TKO model providing you with 87 keys. Removing the number pad portion of a full size keyboard, leaving you with direct access to your F keys, your navigation keys, as well as your dedicated arrow keys. On the back side of the keyboard, you have three way wiring to help manage your cable more accordingly. And while we're at it, there are also two feeds for angle adjustments. Moving on to the keycaps, as I stated before, depending which color of the keyboard you choose, the keycaps installed will match it. These keycaps are 85% PBT, with the remaining 15% being ABS. This helps illuminate the side lettering. As you can see, the surface of the keys are blank while they're printed on the side instead. This gives it that unique look that sets it apart from your standard keyboard. If the keycaps are something you're more interested in, you can actually purchase them individually. The correct term for the keycaps are called ninja keycaps if you're wondering. Moving on to the switches, the 3087 is equipped with Cherry MX. You have your selections between red, browns, blue, black, and clear switches. This is subject to change depending which model you choose. The black version I received was only available in brown and red. If you were to choose the white versions, you have the selection of all 5 switches. Cherry switches have a lifespan of 50 million keystrokes. I won't go into specifics for each switch verbally, but you can see the difference for yourself on screen. For myself, I went with red switches since I prefer to use this keyboard for more intensive purposes like gaming. Here's an example as to what they sound like during a typing test. Moving on to the features, the 3087 has a chipset installed that supports key macro programming. This allows you the accessibility to freely change your keys to whatever you want, or configure it to a macro to make quick shortcuts. You can already tell, but this keyboard has backlit RGB. Cycling through the options using the function key combined with the navigation keys, giving you over 15 different lighting effects. Here are some examples. To summarize this review, let's go over some pros and cons. The package contents are pretty standard when it comes to the accessories. My only complaint is that the USB cable is made entirely of rubber instead of being braided. Not only that, but the USB port of the keyboard has a specific design that can only receive input from the included cable. The portion where you were to insert the USB is so narrow that if you were to try to use your own cable, it wouldn't fit. The design of the keyboard is all around bulky, not that I have a problem with it, I just think it's because I've been so used to 60% keyboards that having all the keys spread out took a bit of time adjusting to. Perhaps it depends on a person and what your preferences are when it comes to using a TKL keyboard. I do like the color scheme and the concept of the build being that it's all around plastic, but it still holds some weight to it. 
The keycaps are unique in a sense where you have the surface being blank, but the sides having all the printing that are translucent. You can use the keyboard with or without the lighting, but having the RGB display truly brings out the uniqueness of the keycaps. The switches being cherry profiles are customary, having a variety of other switches would have been nice like silvers, speeds, or even silence. With only your standard selections of cherry switches, it does get limiting as to what your options are. Hence the reason why I went with red switches. Lastly, this keyboard has so many features and customizations. This can all be done manually using the keyboard without using any softwares or drivers. I didn't experiment too much with this since I have no use for it, but for those that utilizes macros and shortcuts, this would be ideal for you. That'll be it for the review of the 3087SL. I hope you were able to learn something today about this keyboard. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. All the products used in this video is available in the description. You can find links leading straight to this keyboard as well as any coupons or promotional sales to help save you some money. Again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one.